Well everyone, the iPhone 16 has just been announced and I wanted to do a quick comparison between this and the iPhone 8 and just see how both these devices kind of hold up. Now the first thing I'll tell you is between both, I will definitely tell you, the iPhone 16 is a way better phone in every single area you can imagine than the iPhone 8. There's not really any single situation I can look at something like the iPhone you know, 8 and think it's better besides price tag, otherwise the iPhone you know, 16 is the way better one here. Starting, starting off with the outside, the iPhone 16 is going to be giving you a 6.1 inch display, it's in the Super Retina XR OLED display, versus the iPhone 8 which is just going to be giving you a standard 4.7 inch display. Much smaller panel inside of the iPhone no, 8, but it's also not as good of a panel either, so that's kind of a big thing to keep in mind there as well. You're also going to be getting USB-C inside of the iPhone 16 frosted glass back, more camera setups inside of that phone too. I think with something like the iPhone you know, 8, I think it's okay for the most part, but definitely in almost every single way, the iPhone 16 is going to be giving you the better experience here in basically every single way you can imagine. So from the exterior, definitely gives a thumbs up for me. Now on top of that, some other big things to keep in mind, you're going to be getting the A18 chip inside of the iPhone 16, when instead of the iPhone 8, it's basically going to be this like A11 chip that came out so many years ago. So that type of device I would say is fairly outdated when it comes down to it. If you're wanting a better phone in this day and age, the iPhone 16 is going to be a phone that's going to be faster and it's going to be giving you more software updates as well when it comes down to it. So I think that right there is another very big thing to keep in mind there as well. Now on top of that, the iPhone 16 is going to be giving you Apple Intelligence, which is a really nice feature to have. So having Apple Intelligence is a super, super cool thing. I love having that type of capability. And on top of that, another thing, you're going to get a dedicated camera button inside of the iPhone 16 and a wide and ultra wide camera, a dual camera setup. Whereas on the iPhone 8, you're basically getting this like super outdated camera. It's like a single camera setup, fairly outdated. You know, I would say with the iPhone 16 also, it's going to be more expensive. So that's what ends up happening when you're getting these types of devices, right? You're getting outdated types of you know prices and everything like that, or they're more expensive. This 8 is an outdated phone with an outdated price, so it's going to be significantly cheaper, but it's also going to be one of those phones that's not, it's not going to last as long. You're definitely getting what you pay for here. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.